How would you like to take wood that would have been thrown away and use it to build a stronger, safer home? To ensure the backbone of our project house is strong and straight, we're using southern pine finger jointed studs. These studs are both strong and environmentally friendly. The crew starts by assembling the elements of the exterior walls on the ground, then raises them into position and nails them into place. Once the first floor is fully framed, it's time to build a foundation for the second floor using southern pine trusses and glue lamb beams. Just as they did on the first floor, the crew pops chalk lines to indicate where the walls will be. Then they construct the walls by connecting the finger jointed studs to the top and bottom plates. Because the finger jointed wood cannot be used horizontally, we're using solid lumber from Gulf States paper for these plates as well as our headers. Melissa Miranda of the Southern Pine Council explains why Southern Pine is a strong option for framing a home. Southern Pine is often described as the strongest softwood species out on the market. And the reason why people refer to it is because it is a very dense lumber. Density actually correlates with strength. So when you say that the denser your lumber is, you're actually saying the stronger it is. It's been proven in studies that density has a definite positive correlation with strength. For the exterior frame and the interior walls, we are using finger jointed studs from Deltic Timber Corporation. Now a finger jointed stud is actually pieces of lumber that have been glued and pressed together. You can actually see the joint right here. It was cut that way in the end of the board and about 12 inches down on the other end. Now there's a lot of reasons to go with a finger jointed stud. One, you cut down less trees. These are too short to make a real stud. This would have been waste in most cases, but instead they made finger jointed studs out of these small pieces. Two, it's not going to warp and crack as much because a long piece of lumber can actually warp. A shorter piece of lumber has less chance of warping. So these little short joints pressed together, you're going to have a really straight stud. And that means you're going to have nice dry wall that's not going to get a lot of cracks in it. It's going to be a smooth wall. The third reason is strength. Where that joint is is actually one of the strongest places on the stud. It's more likely to crack up here than it is at the joint. So it adds a lot of strength to the frame of our home. One other thing to watch for is the stamp on your lumber. This stamp shows that we have a number two grade lumber, which is great for framing houses, and KD19 means kiln dried with 19% or less moisture left in the wood. The less moisture, the better, so we're looking good at KD19 for framing a house. Finger jointed studs go through a variety of tests to ensure their strength and stability. One of the tests that we perform with finger jointed studs involves baking them in an oven to a very high temperature. Another test involves uh, boiling them in what we call a boiling pot. And when you heat them in an oven, you're actually allowing the wood to shrink. Uh, and when you boil them in a pot, you're allowing the stud to swell. So what we're actually testing for is any delamination. We want to make sure that the adhesive uh, stays intact, that you've got good bond strength with the stud. On the second floor, we also have a media room that's over the garage. Because this room does not span the entire open area of the garage and putting load bearing supports in the middle of a garage would be impractical, we are using glue lamb beams from Mississippi Laminators to give the media room a rock solid floor. You would construct a glue laminated header by taking individual pieces of lumber, applying an adhesive, and then you line up the stack of lumber and you press them together to form one complete glue lamb header. Now that every wall has been raised and secured into its proper place, we can be sure that our project house has a solid frame that will last a lifetime. If you'd like more information about framing your home with Southern Pine Lumber, visit the Southern Pine Council's website at southernpine.com.